Hi guys, welcome back to another video with Jess Hover and the handsome husband, Sean Hover. Ooh, handsome? Yes. Yeah, okay, I'll take that. And his broken wrist. If you yeah. haven't seen how he broke his wrist, go find the video. It's on the internet. And Instagram. Today, we are doing our second video in the series called Be More Fun to Date. First video was about... We talked about how we use the word dating to mean two very different things. We split that into dating number one and dating number two. What's dating number one? I'll just recap the definition. Dating number one meant this. It's getting to know each other with the specific intent of seeing if an exclusive romantic relationship is something you want to get into. That's right. That's that thing where you're going on dates, you're talking, you're texting, whatever you want to call it. That's that thing. And there's no commitment, okay? Zero commitment. Know that. And if None. you want to know more, go watch the video. Okay, yeah. now we are in dating Ooh. number two. Babe, what is dating number two? Number two. It's three words. Just remember it. It's an exclusive romantic relationship. Exclusive. Exclusive. This means there's commitment. There is commitment involved. Cool. Yeah, this is the boyfriend-girlfriend yeah. thing. This is the we're official yep. thing. Facebook official. Facebook official or just official. Yep. When did you make it official? We made it official yesterday. Did you finally make it official? He just won't make it official. Exactly. You know, I mean? you know exactly what that means. Yes, we do. So you said there is some commitment. There's commitment. Yes, what there is. is. It? I'll tell you exactly what the commitment is. This is the moment where you want to get out the highlighter and pen and paper and, and notepad Twitter. and blah, blah. Get out Twitter. Get it all. Have it in front of you because you need to memorize this. You need to remember it forever. And the commitment that you're in is this. I am committed to being romantically involved with you and nobody else for as long as we're in this relationship. Let me explain it this way. I started a job uh, just a few years ago, meaning seven years seven. ago before we were married. And when I started this job, I had to sign a piece of paper, a real contract. Mm -hmm. Now, I knew my boss, he was a cool guy, I wasn't like crazy, but I had to sign a real contract and it said, my employer can terminate my employment, meaning fire me, yeah. at any time, for any reason, or no reason. Sign it. That is the commitment that I was in for as long as I am, am, am employed at that job. It's pretty normal, I think. No matter how comfortable you feel, no matter how much your boss likes you, no matter how strong of a connection you have, the real commitment is that they can let you go anytime. Right. That is the exact same commitment mm -hmm. you're in when you are in a boyfriend, girlfriend, relationship scenario. You can get out of the relationship at any time for any reason. The relationship ends as soon as either one of you says it's over. Okay, it's not like the other person could say, no it's not, I wanna stay in this. Yeah, that right? happened in Seinfeld, it didn't work at all. For no. George Costanza, it's not gonna work for you either. There you go. <laughs> what we wanna do now, before we give you three ways to be fun to date in this part of your relationship, is we wanna give you three facts that you need to know about this stage of your relationship. Uh, and you can give the first, all right. First fact that you need to know about this stage of dating. Number one is this. If it's not official, there is no commitment. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I've, I've heard people, they say, you know, we don't really need labels and titles and you know, we're committed. But yeah. one time I was at a skate park talking to a guy on the curb and um, I asked him if he had a girlfriend. He goes, well, I mean, not technically, but you know, we don't really need those labels and titles. And I was like, oh, interesting. And he goes, but we're committed, we're, we're committed. And I was like, oh, you are, you're committed. And I said, let me ask you this. I said, let's say tonight, she goes out to some party and she makes out with some other dude. I said, is she cheating on you? And then he sits there in silence for about 10 seconds, pondering his life. And he goes, <laughs> no. And I said, you're not committed. Yeah. So they need to be officially in a relationship. They've got to, they've got to put a label on it in order to be in this stage of dating. If you're not officially boyfriend and girlfriend, there ain't no commitment in your relationship. Yeah. Uh, girls, a lot of times I hear you guys tell me about guys who aren't willing to commit to you yet and uh, you make excuses for them. Well, they're scared of commitment, they come from a broken family, these are all the reasons why he's okay to treat me like I'm his girlfriend, mm. but not commit to me. Mm -hmm. uh, I would just like to advise you that if he is not ready for commitment, then he is not ready for relationship. Oh, right? yeah. don't even advise so, that, command it. Command, I declare it. Okay, you need to know that because you are investing in him, uh, you're making excuses for him, and you're going to get hurt. 
So if he is responsible enough to acknowledge that he's afraid of commitment and he has a broken family and all that stuff, then he needs to go get help before treating you like his girlfriend. There we go. Uh, and then he needs to make you his girlfriend if he wants you to be his girlfriend. But he shouldn't get the benefits of a girl acting like his girlfriend. There's better guys out there. There's plenty of fish in the sea, aren't there? Aww. Okay, fact number two about this stage of the relationship is that you are not stuck. So we're gonna talk for a couple minutes about breaking up, babe. Yes, you wanna go? babe. Break up, babe. Break up, babe. I'm the break up, babe. Yes. I'm here to break people up. Uh-oh. No, I'm not, but <laughs> no. sometimes I do, actually. Yeah. Uh, you need to break up with a person uh, once you know that this is not a person you want to marry. Right. Uh, because that's the purpose of being in this kind of relationship. You're seeing if this is the person you want to marry. Yeah. So once you know you don't want to marry them, there's really no point in moving forward in this relationship. And that should actually free some people. Because totally. sometimes you're in a relationship for so long. Uh, I remember there was a girl, she was in a relationship for five years, six years, and she was telling me about it and I said, oh, do you think that you might want to marry him someday? And she's immediately, oh, no, 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 he's not the guy I want to marry. And I just looked at her with a big smile and I said, oh, you should break up with him, like today or tomorrow at the yeah, latest. He really did. Yeah, she was, she was pretty shocked because she yeah. thought, I can't possibly yeah. break up with him. I mean, I know he's not the guy for me, but we've been together so long and right. we've had the blah, 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 and I love you and we talk about marriage and all this stuff. I said, you don't want to marry him, it's done. Yeah. Guess what, the next day, she broke up with him. Yeah. So you don't have to know if it's the person you want to marry, but if you already know that it's not the person you want exactly. to marry, you should break up. You should break up instantly. Mm -hmm. Another thing is, if this is a person who is not interested in marriage at all and you're dating them, uh, you could break up then too because if they already know that they don't want to marry you, you're wasting your time. And then also I'll say like, if there's abuse involved in the relationship, if there's anything destructive about the relationship, break up then as well. Uh, if you don't know if your relationship is destructive, ask somebody who loves you because they Ooh, probably see something that you don't see. So, uh, so yeah, so those are just some things about breaking those up. Those are as good well. little tips on breaking up. Okay, mm -hmm. third point. The third point about this commitment is you are not married. Yeah. Uh, that's really important because oftentimes in this stage of relationship, you like each other so yeah. much, it's so exciting, you're so, there's emotions, and uh, it's such a blissful. It's so fun. Yeah, it's so yeah. fun, so much bliss, and you just wanna move in together, and you just yeah. wanna sleep with each other, and you just wanna have the same bed, and get a dog together, and right. uh, go on a vacation together, yeah, and totally. to the Bahamas. Totally, it's normal. But that's not made for this kind of a commitment, because yeah. this is a commitment that by definition, can be ended by either party at any any time and so you really shouldn't be fully giving yourself to that right. person as if you're going to be with them forever when really you might end up getting hurt really bad from it. Yeah, yeah. The other thing too that I see is that when you're acting like you're married, we're just calling it that, so that could encompass all the different things that he was describing. Uh, you're actually prolonging your ability to figure out if you really do want to get married. I see this a lot, uh, especially in relationships where the girl is excited about getting married, the guy is not so sure if he wants to be married, but she's giving him all of the benefits of being married already. So he is getting, he's, he's reaping the benefits of marriage without any responsibility. And then she is texting me, <laughs> as this often happens <laughs> yeah. with plenty of friends, saying, I can't believe he doesn't want to marry me yet, what should I be doing? And girlfriends, I'm telling you, don't act like you're married with him. Because if you're not acting like you're married, it's helping him to be able to decide if I want these benefits of having this awesome girl move in with me and sleep with me and travel with me and spend every day for the rest of my life with me, then I need to, to my put a ring on it. Put a ring on it, baby. Exactly. Make the, make the real commitment. Make the commitment and have the responsibility that goes along with that of guarding your heart and protecting you and leading you well. Right. If you get to act like you're married when you're not married, then why get married anyway? Exactly. All right. So those are some nice little facts for you. So yeah. let's move into the <laughs> fun stuff. They so fun. But these are fun, okay? Because no, now fun. we're in... I they're know. fun. Well, now we're moving into the really fun stuff. Yeah, really Three fun. Three ways to be more fun, fun. to date in this stage, stage. of the relationship. The relationship. Okay, the first one is... The first one is be best friends. Yes. I mean, really. When you have a relationship that's founded on a strong friendship, 
that's where you're really building the foundation for a healthy, loving, lasting marriage. Mm. So in this time, like I said, it's so exciting and blissful, sometimes you can accidentally stop getting to know one another. Yeah. Like One of our favorite things about dating was that process of continuing to get to know each other on that friendship level. Yeah. And it's like telling stories from your life and asking how what what was your family like and I love to hear about Christmas so I'm all about like what were your traditions like what did what time was your bedtime in middle school <laughs> what are your five anything. love languages I asked or, him that but he didn't really yeah. know <laughs> it's what are what's your love language? what's your love language yeah, he didn't but he didn't really answer so you just you get to just spend get that to time. know each other it's so fun you still hang out in groups don't just separate yourselves and turn into these weird people that never hang out with anyone else right you keep your other out. friends yeah, hang out yeah. in social settings. You do can it hang all. out alone too, though. That's fun. Build that friendship. Yeah, and also, this is just this is still point one. Bonus. Have fun being romantic too. Like write each other songs, or I mean, songs. We didn't, we didn't, <laughs> How many songs have I written? No, you? we're not musical, but I feel like if you right, are, I'm writing you a song. Thank you. Second way to be more fun to date is to enjoy this stage of the relationship. Uh, I'm saying this to my girlfriends. I don't know if guys struggle with this, but a lot of times when we're excited about the next step, which is like getting engaged and getting married, it can be harder to enjoy dating because we feel this pressure. And so I'm thinking like specifically of a, of a girl in my life who it was her birthday, she was really excited. Um, she was excited hoping that the guy she was dating was gonna propose. He was super excited because he had gotten her her favorite gift, but it wasn't, an engagement ring. He was still planning Ooh. to propose to her. They're married now. But uh, but I remember actually on her birthday, she was crying, calling me saying he didn't propose. And I'm like, well, what did he do? And here he had planned a full day of like awesome adventures, given her her favorite gift. And then of course he's sad because he can see that she's sad when she received all this stuff because it wasn't a ring. And, uh, and they both kind of missed out, I think. And they're married now there's gonna require some uh, surrendering in your heart to just be okay with right now. So enjoy figuring out fun ways that you can go on dates together, you can go do stuff where you're fully engaging in the present dating time. Uh, there is a place where you can talk about the future, you can talk about marriage, and you should, I think that's healthy. Yeah. But do it like when you're both ready, you're not nagging him, wishing that he would move forward, but you can actually talk kindly about it. And then once the conversation's over, like, put it away and keep dating and enjoying him and figuring out like who is he and what does he love and how can I love that too. Does that make sense? That makes sense. sense. That yeah. makes enough sense. And the last way to be more fun to date is... Let me say this one. Okay. No, let's say it at the same time. Okay. One, two, three. Play, Play tennis. tennis. We actually wrote this point down without talking about it and we decided that we weren't going to talk to each other about it. We were just going to see what we both had to say about tennis. Well, it's going to be easy because we both love tennis. Yes when we play together. Right. I have something to say about it. I have something to say okay. about it. Do you want to start? Okay. Okay, go ahead. Get, uh, it's more of the practical end. You can get tennis rackets <laughs> from pretty much any thrift store. You go to Goodwill, you go to the local thrift store, maybe, they will have tennis rackets. They're they like a like dollar. Tennis. Our advice is play tennis. No. But my maybe advice, they don't like tennis. My advice if you is, don't like tennis, <laughs> then you need to like tennis. No, my advice is code. Like play tennis for me means Find something you love together and do it. For us. Okay, mine is play tennis. Because <laughs> here's the thing. It, you don't, you don't want to get involved in these weird sports like basketball and football where people are like, you know, they're like in your face all the time. Well, yeah, you're you trying probably to, don't want to be tackling each other. Yeah, you don't want you those. You might hurt each other. Those things. And you don't want to like go jogging together or like, because that's just so you boring do. and you're you just like sweating running, and your okay. legs are hurting. You want to do <laughs> some kind of activity that's actually fun and where there's a net in between you Beach so, that you can, so that you can win. Beach volleyball is fun. Regular volleyball is fun. Vo all net sports. Okay. <laughs> okay, but also find something you love because tennis kind of surprised us because he's a skater and I'm a something else. I don't know what I am, a regular human. Tennis player. And, uh, <laughs> no. and then we realized that he liked playing tennis and I like playing tennis, so that became our hobby and it still is. So we think that you, in this stage of your relationship, should find Play some tennis. stuff that you love to do together. It could be tennis or something else. It could be jogging uh, or skateboarding. Some skaters date skaters. And uh, yeah, that, and do that, that together trippy. and have so much fun. If you're a skateboarder and you go find a skater chick, you need to make sure that she's not better than you at skateboarding because that would be really <laughs> difficult.
in your life. Like imagine. <laughs> he has no idea because I don't skate. She should, yeah, yeah. I don't have to worry <laughs> about funny that one. That you would say that. That. Yeah. Okay. So that's our advice. I hope that was encouraging. I don't know. We don't know, but we really want you to have great relationships. Our next video is called. How to, I love you. Oh. I think it's called I love you. I mean, that's kind of a weird I mean, name. Yeah, probably won't call it I love you. <laughs> <laughs> that's just the title on YouTube. It's yeah, just I, I love, love you. you. It's Sean no, and Jess. so what is I love you and when do you say it? We're going to make a video about that. It's coming soon. So get excited. Uh, if you like what you see here, like the video. Even if you don't like it, just like it anyway. Like it anyway. <laughs> uh, subscribe to the channel. Share the videos if you want to. Uh, follow us on Instagram. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter, kind of. Not really. I'm trying. <laughs> I mean, I haven't posted anything, but I at least <laughs> got a screen You're name. You're trying. <laughs> or a Twitter handle. You've posted zero tweets. <laughs> I just called it a screen name. <laughs> I'm sorry, like Carly AOL Christman. Instant Messenger. I know. What was your AOL Instant Messenger screen name? Mine was Astrovan81. <laughs> Mine was, I don't remember. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you're doing well. We love you and are grateful for you, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>